Hey, how's it going? And sorry for the delay in getting this video out. I've just been off uh, doing stuff in real life, so uh, it kind of is what it is. Anyway, as most of you know, I love any thief or roguelike mods for Skyrim, and I was quite excited to see the latest Creation Club release, The Grey Cow Returns, which brings us the Grey Cow of Nocturnal, which is another Daedric artifact from Oblivion. Now, this is going to be a pure review, so I'm doing this one a little differently and not going through the quests. If you want me to upload a full no commentary walkthrough on this mod, let me know in the comments below. And I've also included a link in the description on the lore surrounding this mod, and in my opinion, it's well worth reading as it pulls everything together and makes sense of all the quests you have to do. Okay, so let's crack on. The mod comes in at 250 credits, around two and a half dollars, and the quest was created by Chris Takahashi. And let's briefly talk about the quest. It's a kind of mini, mini DLC, if you will. It will get uh, get yeah, you doing all kinds of sneaky some. skullduggery from burglary to pickpocketing and persuasion. Essentially, you'll be using all your thief skills and you'll be sent to the Nordic ruin of Silverdrift Lair and to find and return the ancestral sword of Clan Iceblade, which completes the quest. And I'll be talking a little bit more on this sword later on. Now, the quest isn't super long, but it's definitely a lot of fun. And if you're a new character, you may find some of the parts quite challenging, uh, especially the more thiefy stuff. So expect to be making a lot of quick saves. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised how much gameplay I got for the price, though that's relative to the offerings of other Creation Club mods, of course. Now to the Grey Carol itself. It's definitely an interesting bit of kit. It's light armor, has an armor rating of 13, which is the same as an elven helmet, and a weight of two. Now, these are not bad stats at all for this kind of armor, but surprisingly, it's heavier and offers less protection than the standard thief's hood, which is an armor section of 18 and a weight of 1.5. Now, I would have thought it would have been at the very least been the equivalent of the Guildmaster's hood coming in at an armor rating of 16, uh, though slightly heavier at a weight of three. But I guess the whole point of this is not to be seen, so maybe protection isn't that big a deal, I guess. Uh, no, unsurprisingly, what sets this apart is its enchantments, which are 45 sneak for 25 points, 45 carry weight for 50 points, and has a detect life base. So it's a triple enchanted item, and that's always good you get 50 points of extra carry weight, which is always handy. I'd suggest that you get the Adventurer's Backpack, which will give you a further 75 points of carry weight, adding up to a total of 125. And if you really want to go all out, then go kiss the Steedstone, which will give you an additional 100 in carry weight, plus dropping your equipped armor weight to zero, and removes any movement penalty. A nice touch for a thief or a good looting run. And we get a Detect Life enchantment, which shows all nearby living creatures, but not undead, machines or Daedra. They can be seen through walls and at actually quite a long distance. And as far as I can tell, all hostile enemies show as red. And I'm assuming all currently non-hostiles are showing in blue. Now, whether this means they will or won't be hostile when they see you, I just can't say at the moment. And finally, sneaking. Now, I can almost hear you thinking, wow, sneaking is 25% uh, better, big deal. Well, actually, it kind of is, as the only um, items of clothing you can enchant with sneak are neck, hands, fingers, and feet. For example, amulet, gloves, rings, and boots. Uh, the following are the only headgear in the game with a sneak enchantment, well, as far as I know, and they are Cicero's hat, the Jester's hat, and the shrouded hood. Now, if you're aware of any others, please leave a comment below this video. And now, the downside. I mentioned before there was three enchantments. Well, there's kind of a fourth. Well, not so much an enchantment, more of an effect. And that is, the hood turns guards hostile. And when I say hostile, I mean hostile. It only takes one guard to see you, and they all start to hunt you down. And they will be hostile throughout the entire hold, not just a particular place you're in at that moment. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or built in by design, but if you run around the corner and go into sneak and hide, you will still have the full eye. So technically, you're not sneaking. If you run into a property at this time, 
guards could well be dragged in with you even, even if they're not in line of sight and they'll attack you straight away. If you take the hood off and come back into line of sight, they will still attack you, which is a bit of a surprise as I believe previous versions of the hood would allow you to remove it and surrender to the guards. But that is certainly not the case with this version. What you have to do is escape the guards by any means possible, which can be fairly tricky in places like Riften. Keep on running because remember, it's not just the guards in that particular location or hostile, but all the guards in that entire hold. So you need to get to a place where you can fast travel and travel to a completely different hold. In this example, I went to, uh, from Riften to Whiterun. You'll notice the guards aren't hostile there. And if you then travel back to Riften, the guards in the city and hold will not be hostile to you. You should talk to the Yard up at Dragon's Reach. Lend any aid you can. Heard they were forming a Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Now, I mentioned in the intro that I'll show you how to keep a unique item that you're not actually meant to have. Well, this little tip was brought to you by XO Random Guy OX, my little Skyrim guru who is forever giving me helpful bits and bobs, so please give him some love in the comments. Anyway, that item is the Ancestral Sword of Clan Iceblade. You're meant to return it to the stranger, aka the previous Grey Fox, to complete the quest. But if you simply go to a safe weapon rack and store the sword there before going to speak to him, then the quest will complete anyway, allowing you to keep the item. Now you can either keep it as a trophy and with zero damage it's really only good as a trophy, or apparently it can be disenchanted for the fear enchantment, which is a really good enchantment to have, especially at low levels. Um, I think this is the case anyway, but I couldn't check that as I already have that My particular enchantment. No uh, let me know in the comments if yeah. that's not the case. Now, personally, I would keep the unique item, but you do have the choice either way. So, what do I think of this mod? Well, let's start with the aesthetics. I think this hood is a bit Marmite. Personally, I just can't make up mind. I do like the Daedric writing, that's pretty cool. And the textures are absolutely fine. So as usual, it comes down to personal taste for this one. The quest is not super long, but I really like it. You have to utilize all your thief skills from lock picking, burglary, pickpocketing, and persuasion. And you get a decent tomb trade. Now I know it's not a, to a new tomb added to the game, but it's still a good one. Yeah, I like the quest. And if you read all the notes and journals during the quest and the lore, it really adds up to a great story. And again, there are links uh, for all the lore in the video description. So to actually using this hood in the game, well at first I was disappointed. Now the enchantments are really great. Having the sneak enchantment on your head, as well as amulets, boots, gloves and rings is a massive boon. The Detect Life is a great advantage to any thief and will be handy in any Falmer enclave to boot. Though at first I thought the situation of not being able to remove the hood and surrender to the guards was ridiculous, as well as the point of not being able to go into sneak mode very easily once out of sight. However, the more I thought about this, the more I actually like the idea. It makes a real challenge for you to never get seen. You have to be a real thief, and I like that. Though I strongly recommend you do not use followers when using this hood. So, all in all, for 250 credits, and if you're into stealing other people's stuff, then I don't think this is a mod is bad value for role-playing a scallywag. Anyway, I hope you liked the video, and I'll catch you later. Love ya.